But anyway, how was the Cody Co show? Because I, when, once I realized, I didn't know it was on the same date. And then I think <laughs> man and JJ is like tour manager, tour managed this. Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah. So he messaged me like, oh, your name's on the list. And you know, because you texted me originally saying, do you like Cody Co? You like Cody Co, right? And I was like, yeah. And then you said the search the show's on, but you never said, yeah, I'm actually going to go, I'm going. So I didn't know I, I was going. I think I did in person. No, I, think I, we I spoke I, about I, it. I never knew I was going until oh he messaged me saying your name's on the list. And I was like, oh, wait, I've been chosen. We definitely have spoken about <laughs> I it. I think we have. We mu- yeah, if we have, no, I just can't, no. I couldn't remember. Um, okay. Wait, I want to ask one quick question. Random yeah. question. This is very, very random. Just we were talking about football. So I was okay, like, okay, yeah. Who would you say West Ham's biggest ever player was? Ooh, well. Because I had it in my head and I spoke to Ethan yesterday. He said someone else and I was like, oh. He said Payet. He did say Payet. Who did you say? The Canio. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. I thought the Canio. Did Sharing ever play for West Ham? <laughs> just made it up last minute. I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I don't know a lot of things about West Ham, but um, yeah, the Canio was huge. That I goal was scored Can- as well. Yeah, but, but he think- was like, the things Payet did in that season, every West, Ham, every West Ham fan will be like, that's... Yeah, I think I think he has got an argument there, but also because I don't, recent, I don't disagree with him. Yeah. I was just like I I would have assumed it was Decanio. But he was, Pat just came in so sick, right? And he was like the goal, that like, free kick he scored could be can I think you can compare that to Decanio's goal as well. Very different, but yeah, well, that free, free kick was like kick. inhumane, man. Yeah, but I mean that like the volley, yeah, yeah is okay. Anyway, back to Cody Co. Yeah. So, um, couple things. Okay. One, so I went I went to Cody Co. and. Noel Miller. Noel Miller, yeah. I always want to pronounce it wrong. I want to say Noel. No, as well. well, so I always thought it was Noel because he said Noel once. Yeah. Then I saw a video where he called himself Noel. So I'm like, bro, don't do this to me. Yeah. It's... I think it's Noel, you know. I think it's Noel Miller. Okay. We're just going to call him Noel. He's sick though. I, I, okay. I actually, I think, I think I watch his videos more than Cody Coe's. I like both of them. Yeah, no, yeah, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not comparing them, but no, I'm just saying that I, I, I always watch. It's like the Simon and the More Simon channel. I, I enjoy that type of content more. So I think Cody Carr, I watch every every video he does, but then every video that Noel does, where it's on his like, like second channel, he does li- he live streams and he cuts up the live streams into videos. And yeah. I always end up watching them. So um, yeah, so we went and saw them, and they do like a stand up show with a mix of music. music. Yeah, but the thing is, we we all expected them to do a lot more music, you know. Yeah, I mean, once I saw the chairs laid out, I was like, okay, this is going to be a lot, very like podcasty. Yeah, because I thought about it, and as soon as we walked in, I saw the chairs, and I was like, I, I kind of don't want them to do music because if they're there trying to get people up and yeah. being like, yeah, no one's going to do it, especially in England. People I think aren't there's as a difference, though. Yeah, so JJ and I have done a lot of shows like that at, at events where they're not even allowed to stand up. So. It's we're like, weird, isn't it? We're like, yo, stand up. And no one does. And we're like, oh, they hate us. But also we'll do it, like say, VidCon and et cetera, where, yeah, they're, maybe they're fans of JJ and the, and the music, but they're not just there for the show. Whereas yeah. I guess Cody Co, like they are, everyone's bought tickets for them. So I'm sure they'll yeah. stand up and like, vibe with the music. But they did, um, I'd say they did, they did either two or three songs plus like another little skit. They were mm. like, um, they did this whole speech about how much they love people that sit in the front row. And then nice. they did a song and it was literally just like, fuck the front row. Oh, <laughs> cool. Um, but yeah, no, they, they do these, um, they, they did like a stand up. They did like a live that's cringe. Okay. Nice. Um, it was actually like really, really good. Like really good. Did and they do, was it, did they do like a segment where it was like a podcast, their podcast just live? Kinda. I didn't, I don't listen to their podcast much though. I watch the videos. Yeah. So I don't really listen. I, I watch it quite a bit, but I know that Laura went to a podcast show live I know that, uh, obviously, yeah, I've seen quite a few, few people do po- their podcast live. David Obrick and J- Jason yeah, yeah. did their podcast live. And I, I'm always think, thinking, is that is that a good show or not? But I guess, because obviously you're not just going to do the podcast. You're also going to like talk Theirs to the crowd a bit. more stand-up. Right, okay. Like, it was kind of like a podcast in terms of like, they would tell some stories and stuff about yeah. their tour and stuff. But it was it was more stand-up in like... Um, did they stand up? They were, they were stood up, yeah. Wow, impressive. Yeah. So it was actually stand-up. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, but it, it was actually really good. Like I, I saw a few people that were kind of like, oh, I came with a mate. I don't really know them. Yeah. And they were like, I found it hilarious. So I'm like, if you can get that, if you get people there that don't really watch you yeah, and they enjoy it, that shows it's like a good show. For sure. Yeah. They just come across as like very funny people anyway. Yeah. Not just in videos as in like seeing them live. I was like, yeah, they're actually just, they are funny because they do like a little Q and A at the end as well, mm. and like their responses were quick and funny and yeah. stuff. And it was like, oh okay. Did you go to Will's and Stephen's? I show? didn't. I was away the whole time. Yeah, I, we, 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 JJ and I were doing shows when that was on, but I guess it was a similar type of thing, right? Well, I don't know. I didn't see yeah, it. True, but <laughs> it's, it's funny you say that. Okay, 
because that was actually my second point. Okay. So we were watching. Oh no. I don't know whether I like. I don't know whether I was meant to say this or not. Okay. So we're watching the show. We're in like this, the mid tier section. This is going to start a war. <laughs> no, no, because I'm literally just stating okay. something that happened. All right. Okay. So we're in the mid tier section, um, like the the one up bit. There's like yeah. three levels, the floor, middle, and the top. We're in the middle bit, and there's the floor seats. And halfway through, while uh, Cody's, Cody's in the middle of talking, and then he kind of stops himself, and he goes like, yo, are you, are you guys fighting? What's going on? And everyone's kind of leaning over like, oh, a fight. Yeah. Like, what's going on? And then he goes, oh, wait, wait, are you having a seizure? And then you hear a girl go like, oh, he's having a seizure, yeah. And then they kind of go like, oh, can we, can we like get the lights on quick? Can, we, can yeah. someone come in and, you know, can someone kind of help them help quick? Them, yeah. So they come in um, and they kind of like the person's calm down a little bit. We can't, we can't see this at all. Yeah. You can just kind of hear it. And then Cody's there like, um, oh, like, uh, oh, okay, you're right, you're right now. Oh, what's your name? Will. Oh, and Freezy just turns to me and he goes, that's Will. Because that, he could hear the voice. Yeah. And it, it's, it's Will, Will and he? he, yeah. Right. We had a, had a seizure? Yeah. Oh, mad. And... He's completely fine. Yeah, he's yeah, like yeah, completely yeah. fine. That's why. That's why I'm set. Like that's why I'm okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I thought you were going to say something that you you punched Will and E. <laughs> no, 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 no. So yeah, he um he oh, had wow. a seizure. Damn. Yeah, and then he kind of like went out to get some fresh air and stuff. Right. We so saw him afterwards. He's like he was fine. Okay, cool. Like we spoke to him afterwards, and he had a he had a corona and stuff. So he was he was completely. <laughs> fine. Has he had that before? Is he had that? Is he? Yeah. So he it was, it was like controlled. If you know what I mean. Like, yeah. It's not unexpected. Yeah. Like everyone, obviously, it's like in the moment. Yeah, very traumatic kind of thing. Damn, but he was completely fine after, and it was just one of those things where it's like, I think, obviously, it's horrible anyway. Yeah, but he was sat on in the floor seats in oh, the middle. Yeah, with like yeah, and obviously they draw attention to it. They have yeah. to to help, help him. <laughs> but then suddenly everyone looks at him and yeah. realizes it's Will and E. Oh my god! And as soon as they realize, everyone's there like, "Whoa!" Oh, that's awful. Like, and I'm like, not what you want. stop. Sometimes having a seizure, you don't want like that attention. Yeah, so I was there. Kind of like, random as well, I imagine. Yeah, so I'm kind of there like, this oh, that's is... awful. If you're going to get that, that's one of the worst places. How come he wasn't sat with you guys? Do you think he just bought a ticket before? I think so, yeah. yeah. He was with his girlfriend and, um, yeah, I, do, I, Damn. I don't, I don't know, but... Well, I hope you're out now. Yeah, yeah we'll... sending sending love to Will and e. Yeah. It was, it was just mad though, because obviously... We just hear this, and the reason he thought he was having a fight is because Will kind of threw his head back, and he thought uh, someone behind him had grabbed him in a headlock. Oh, raw! And I was just there, like, "What's what's happening?" And then Freeze yeah. is like, "Yeah, it's Will." Wow. Yeah, but he's all right now. Yeah. So, how did they? How did he say his name? I guess he was. Did he record he, at that he, point? He was fine, oh, yeah, but yeah, okay. like he's obviously he go he go lightheaded and stuff. Yeah, like. and then then he went out to. Yeah. It. Okay, got you. Yeah, but we saw him after, and he was yeah he was all right. He was fine, yeah. So yeah, then after the Damn. show. Um, we went backstage. We met Cody and Noel. yeah. I saw JJ post a picture with them, and I was just so mad. I was like, yeah. I'm not. I was happy, but I was like, I'm well, so someone jealous. someone asked like, when are you gonna fight the Dobre brothers? Yeah, and uh, they were just like, they both went, oh no, screw that. We're both gonna fight KSI. Where is he? Where is he? And then like the lights just pan to JJ, and JJ's like, oh no. <laughs> um, but yeah, we met them afterwards, and um, again they came across as like they're so cool, man. They actually, I I was kind of there. Me and Freezy were like. It's more interesting when people are dicks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they were just really nice, funny guys, and I was yeah. like, "Damn it!" <laughs> I know, man. No, they were really cool, and um, we ended up saying like, "Oh, we're going out. Do you want to go?" Out? Well, they were like, "Oh, we might go out." Yeah. Then the storms cancelled their Glasgow show the next day. Right? Yeah. Bro, the, the storms are worse than you think, man. Yeah, I'm experienced. Yeah, they're like trains are cancelled. That's but for those wondering. I was also like, I, I I just got back today for this podcast, like right now, because. Uh, I was meant to come back yesterday on Sunday to like streaming that, but I couldn't get home. <laughs> so yeah. So yeah, we went to um, we were gonna go out, and they were kind of like, oh, we don't know where to go. And then Freezy was like, oh, what about the box? Okay. I don't know if you've ever been to the box. No. Neither had I. Right. This place is weird. Really? <laughs> like weird. So Sounds we weird. The box. We get there, and then um, Cody turns up like twenty minutes after us, thirty minutes after us. No, Classic. no messages. Uh, well, we split up and then. No, no, I was just saying like <laughs> the artist, you know, <laughs> it's his show. He can oh, turn up whenever he wants. I was just saying JJ. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Noel ended up not coming out because uh, oh, he was just tired as hell. Yeah, which is fair, fair enough. enough yeah. um, but the box. So it's a it's a club that I don't know how to describe it other than to tell you what I saw. Was it a box? No. Oh. So it's there's just a cup, it's just a cup tables. 
uh, like one level up kind of thing, like ste- a step up. Okay. And then there's like the floor bit. Yeah. And in the floor bit, there's also like a catwalk. And at the end of the catwalk, there's a little stage with a curtain. Okay. And at like one thirty or something around that time, and then half an hour later or 45 minutes later, there's a yeah. show. Okay. Now these shows are very adult. Right. Okay. And weird. Okay. Was it, was it similar to the show in Vegas we saw? The Cirque du Soleil no, humanity. No, that was humanity. that was more tasteful. <laughs> really? What? How? Yeah. So okay, this one okay, wow. starts with like a woman singing. Hold on, can I stop you again? How how does it compare to Sticky Vicky? In the middle between those two, Cirque du Soleil, no, Sticky Vicky. I'd say it's um on par with wow. Sticky Vicky. Yeah, wow. it's just different. So okay. it starts off with a woman singing, right. then. She goes off, then some naked dancers come out. So it's like a show. It's not happening while like like tracks are on. No, it's just she's actually no. They actually like stop it. She performs. Wow. Then they play another song. Some naked dancers come out. She okay. does another song, and then there's like the big show, which is not the wrestler. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know how to describe it other than there's a there's a woman there. Okay. Who opens her shirt? Okay. Then pulls her trousers down to reveal a penis. Okay. Uh, and then she takes this curtain off this thing, this chair. Yeah. And there's a naked man sat there. Oh, no. So then she pretends to cut him a little bit. Like, it's all fake. Like in then, half, like a magician? No, like, just pretends to cut him. Okay. And then uses the blood to what? insert her fist. What? His what fist. As, like, I don't, as, like, lube? Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, what the hell? Is yeah, it fake blood, right? Fake blood. Yeah, okay, few. But it wasn't a fake fist. No, no, no. It was... It was <laughs> yeah, so... That is we're odd. just there seeing that on stage. You're like, yeah! We're all just <laughs> oh. like, what's happening? <laughs> and then that kind of happens, and then half an hour later, they start another show. Yeah. And the first one for this one was, like, so sick. It was... There was a naked woman... Okay. Who, well, that's not why I was sick. <laughs> it was so sick, man. She had her hair. <laughs> she took her top off. <laughs> she had her hair attached to this like rope that went up to the ceiling. I hate that. But she got lifted up and was dancing. Wow, like, with her hair, just oh. by her hanging by her hair. But she was like sick. Like it was so. It was actually oh, really enough. mad. But then this other person comes out <laughs> after this. Yeah. Pulls their penis out. Yeah. And then. Starts peeing on stage. Oh my god! And we're all like, "What? What are we witnessing?" <laughs> then they run into the crowd and just start peeing on everyone. I'm afraid for. Are you for real? Like, like I am being a hundred percent serious. What the hell? And the funniest thing is like, so they, Freezy knew. Freezy knew how. Yeah, who suggested this? So, Fre- but there's the show is different every time. Like Freezy has never seen this. <laughs> but Freezy was like, if we get, if we go, we have to make sure we're near the back. Okay. Uh, so we were near the back. So, so he we didn't just know of it seen, then. He didn't know of it. Yeah, yeah, no. He had seen a show, but he hadn't seen this show. Okay. So, um, yeah, so this person's just running around, that, peeing on everyone. Imagine if you got dragged to that by your friend. You're like, ah, oh, you come out tonight. He's like, no, no, I don't want to. Well, Trust there, me, you'll enjoy this night. There was one guy who clearly wasn't enjoying it because they tried to pull a guy up on stage to like, you know, just like they rip his shirt open oh, and that's yeah. it. And he was like, no, 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 get off me. And yeah. like keeping them away. And then this person comes out, starts peeing, pisses him. all over his back. He literally turns around, tries to push the guy, but um, the bouncer just steps in. And it's just <laughs> like, no, don't, don't do it. Don't oh do it. This, this, this person's literally just peeing everywhere. Have you heard about that club in, in uh, Berlin? Bern, Bern, ha, 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 or something. I can't remember. I'm not sure what it's called. No. But it's like a very exclusive club. And you, the premise of it is that you, they, you can't get in. You know, it's very hard to get into and they will literally turn you away by choice. They'll just let you in if they That's want That's what to. this one is. Okay, yeah. So we wanted to go in um, in in tour just to check it out and everyone's like, nah, you, you just won't get in because even if you dress normally, they can just t- turn you down. Like it's, it's up to the, there's like a really famous bouncer and it's his decision whether you get in or not. And no matter who you are, like, you know, your name doesn't matter. Like, uh, and apparently they have a room in, there are very, loads of different rooms. One room there is where I think like upstairs there's like a toilet and the urinals, like I was like, you pee into the urinal and then it like filters down into a different room and you're just getting like sprayed with what is going into the urinals. <laughs> That's not why I wanted to go. I we don't were, get, we weren't going to go into that room. I, yeah, I don't, I don't get it, but I mean, some people are into crazy stuff. Yeah, but if you're into it as well, like a club full of that. Yeah, like, yeah. Maybe you like, you, you're into it because of the person you're experiencing it with, where this is just random 
Yeah, this is it's falling <laughs> oh down my the sky. God. <laughs> um, I think they have a room. There's a room downstairs in the box. The box that's like a matters as well, and it's it's got a bouncer on that. Literally, if you're not if you're not paying, they don't let you. Wow. In. And it's like one of those things that it's like it's it's completely up to their judgment. Yeah. So you got. Then. I was like. Freeze was like, oh, you want to go? You want to go down? You don't want to get turned down. And I was you? like, I that would kill my self esteem <laughs> yeah. if I go down. He's Imagine like, everyone Sorry. gets in as well, apart from you. Ah, oh, I'd be done. I'd be done. So and usually you want your friends to be like, oh no, no, we'll leave then. But then once yeah. they go in, you're like, well, come, okay, I'm going home. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna cry and ugly. <laughs> well, this is. I was just there. Like, I have never ever witnessed a club like this. This is mad. That's Obviously, crazy. Like, what, what did Cody Co think of it? That's the thing. Did he he know was, was he was there, just like draw drop the whole time. And I, I was saying to Freeze and JJ like. Cody's gonna go back to Noel and be like, yeah, he's, yeah, these English guys are weird, man. <laughs> they took me to the weirdest place." I feel like his sense of humor would have would have not minded it. Yeah, no, he didn't seem to be like he wasn't. He didn't look like visibly disgusted by it, kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. He wasn't there, like, "What are we doing here?" Blah, blah, blah. 